Hey guys, what's going on? Yo, kia ora guys, I'm Shane Young. And I'm John Vake. I'm Tyson Pedro. We're here, City Kickboxing. And welcome to Fresh. And, and welcome, welcome to Fresh. Fresh. When I bow into the octagon, that's when you're trying to get into that kill mode. I've messed it up before, for sure. <laughs> it didn't switch on. I was walking in and I remember looking around, I was like, I wonder where my missus is sitting. I got bashed for that one. I had vertigo for two weeks after that, so that one took some uh, years off the life, for sure. <laughs> What's up, freshies? Welcome to my world. You know, heaven, up there, heaven. Oi, the dickers. What's all the noise in here? I'm just talking, bro. To who? You got a secret mouse in here I don't know about. No. Relax, it was just a test dummy. Everyone knows mouse can't talk. Ricky, did you mean mice? You're trying to be a smart ass. No, I'm just saying. Oh, you think you're that chaser guy, eh? <laughs> Sound like a wet day. <laughs> you know, trying to incorporate our community, it's like, everyone's so good, we need to write a story for that person, we need to write a story for that person. And I guess that's what's different. The music and the movements and... The colour, taking the young ones on a mythical, magical journey, making them believe that magic is real, and that's the power of storytelling. When I bow into the octagon, that's when you're trying to get into that kill mode. I've messed it up before, for sure. <laughs> it didn't switch on. I was walking in and I remember looking around, I was like, I wonder where my missus is sitting. I got bashed for that one. I had vertigo for two weeks after that, so that one took some uh, years off the life, for sure. <laughs> What's up, freshies? Welcome to my world. It's uh, been a cool experience because it really led me into their family, I think. I feel like uh, um, that I got to experience Christmas and New Year's over here and bring my family over and uh, just the camaraderie and uh, how they brought my family into it really made me enjoy this camp. These guys are the top 1% of the top 1%. There's champions, there's top ranked fighters. They all have been there, they've been doing this for years. It's good to be a small fish in a big pond. When I bow into the octagon, it makes you strive for more. And uh, that's been a really a cool process to be a part of. Bro, that, that one on the... It's not... That's not enjoyable. They've got a sort of genius in the way that they think with fighting. It's, um, it's been a learning curve. Yeah, like I said, it was intimidating at first because you answer questions to the, that they're asking and it's just completely wrong. <laughs> like, no idea. It's like that kid in school that puts his hand up to answer the question and not even close to the answer. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. You had the record for the longest injury layoff in UFC history. Yeah. It's probably not one of the records I wanted to have. <laughs> There's a lot of other records out there that I'm about. I'll take it. So I don't know if they give me a Hall of Fame jacket or what, but longest layoff, sweet. Uh, it's, it was definitely hard, the um, pressure when I first came back. After four years off, you sort of don't know if you're going to be the same person when you come back in. Uh, um, but yeah, I got in there and proved that I was still supposed to be in there, and um, I was elated. Tyson Pedro is back. <laughs> Straight after the fight, there was uh, too much to think about because I was thinking about that whole four years of the layoff and family, like, and just everything. And I was just like, it's too much. There's a lot. <laughs> oh, sorry, my Uber driver's here. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> there are people who are going to watch this and go, this is nasty guy. <laughs> I've never used an iPhone book. I've opened up a beverage company. Uh, we um, got to do, I got to be part of an Italian restaurant now in Penrith and uh, we did the chicken wings. Oh, ladies, boy. <laughs> Honestly, I try and get, be, become a part of things that I like and just try not to pay other people for it. So I just <laughs> pay myself. <laughs> and it's not working out because we just eat and drink into the profits. <laughs> She completely changed me. I've completely changed as a person, uh, for sure. Um, I wasn't expecting it. This little girl has re-taught me how to love. Um, I just 
She's got me wrapped around her finger. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm worried about when she gets older because I don't know what I'm not going to be able to handle it. But What's your favourite thing to do with it? Oh man, um, <laughs> we both love eating. So I, I've got to keep fighting because it turns out she loves A5 Wagyu steak. <laughs> so I've got to go make money because it's a normal steak. She's like, oh, so we've got to try and make some more money. <laughs> this is probably an exclusive. You can hear it here first, but CKB is the final chapter of my fighting career, and I can feel that. I'm not saying I'm retiring like soon, but I just know this will be the final place where I fight competitively. Martial arts will always be a part of my life, but and in saying that, uh, I just I'm not ready to look past fighting because I have big goals uh, uh, to do in the next couple of years with fighting. But um, it's allowed me to do other things, and hopefully they'll be set up for for me afterwards. Stick around after the break for some more freshness. Talo for Lava, we are so is Shiva. And we're here at the opening of Alatini. Welcome to Alatini behind the scenes. Keep it fresh. It's <laughs> Welcome back, you're, you're watching Fresh. Hi everybody, show some form, show some energy. Today is our first show. Let's go! Talo for Lava, we are so is Shiva, and we're here at the opening of Alatini. Welcome to Alatini behind the scenes. Keep it fresh. It's <laughs> wild. We are a group of friends that uh, formed this group over 10 years ago now. Coming out of drama school, we couldn't get work anywhere, so we decided to create our own work. We all came together and formed this group called Soe Siva, which is, means just come and dance. It started off with just probably about 20 in the class, and then uh, over the years, we started to have 50 to 60 to 120. Here we are, we're putting on productions, telling stories through myths and legends with song, Siva. Plot twist, I'm not even in the show. <laughs> I'm just trying to look for my size and then I'll be off again. Having theatre backgrounds, we had the tools and the craft to uh, pass that on to our, our community. The show is like a Latini and stuff. It's modernising um, old fairy tales that everyone knows about and adding our South Auckland twist. Just making it recent so that our young people can connect with it. It's awesome to infuse industry artists as well as people from the community, from the young ones to some older ones and everyone in the middle. We try and combine them together and, yeah, be one whole whanau. It was such a good space to be a part of and, you know, and I can chuck that on my CV as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring your friends. 
these guys create a space where I can continue to live my life as a performer. I was coming to rehearsals and stuff in my school <laughs> uniform, and now I have two kids, and I bring them along to rehearsals. As the years have gone on, we've got more control over the creative process. And honestly, seeing all the actors get given a character, get given a scene, just seeing what everyone comes up with is actually magic. <laughs> What we do is give them the structure and how to deliver a line, how to enter with energy, how to exit. Back straight, chest out. Tightening up cues and whatnot. Ooh. You should feel it around your lips. Ah. Ah. It really has encouraged me to continue pursuing my life as an actress. It's called a rat's tail. It's from the hood, so it's hood rat. <laughs> Just jokes, just jokes. We have a whole lot of real mean singers, real mean dancers, real mean actors, and we're just trying to create a platform to showcase their talents. That's the joy that we have as, as Soe Siva, is just seeing the young ones from the community learn these type of skills. There should be no limitation on creativity. It's like, come on, let us do our thing, and you'll see the people enjoy it. It's how we roll. When uh, we have a cast of over 60, you get changed and get ready where you can them to have full control, that's been the difference. We're changing the narrative in terms of the way Basvika people run shows. Now Basvika can work with actual Basvika and we have no one telling us what to do. We can tell the story however we want. Has anybody seen my lucky name? Ilijini from Takanini. For the myths and legends, we always want to incorporate music, dance, a little bit of humor. Did you steal this bread, Alatini? <laughs> For Alatini itself, we try and incorporate the live bands. It's all about the singers. What is she doing? We've got a lot more emotions in this one. Bigger ensemble. Subtitles, please. <laughs> <laughs> I say. You know, trying to incorporate our community, it's like, everyone's so good, we need to write a story for that person, we need to write a story for that person. And I guess that's what's different. The music and the movements and the colour. Taking the young ones on a mythical, magical journey, making them believe that magic is real, and that's the power of storytelling. For us, young, brown people on stage, it's good for our communities. And I mean, these shows are for our communities. We hope that the audience can find little snippets of their lives that they can relate to in the show. I loved it. It's all the singing. Just a beautiful demonstration of everything awesome about being Pacifica. It's just rewarding because I know theatre is, is not an everyday thing for our people, but we actually do. We're natural performers. You know, we carry our family with us. We represent our ancestors. That definitely shows in the, the mana and the pride that we, you know, we perform. I feel like it's a responsibility to be the Tusi Tala of your own story. Is that it? I'm not even Samoan. Why am I quoting Samoan? You're correct. <laughs> If we don't continue telling those stories, it's going to be lost over time. It makes it that much more rewarding when you're inspiring also young people, and I think that's the biggest bonus. We want to make sure that we put our all into it by utilising the talents in the community, allowing them to let their light shine. for more freshness. Get out of heaven, up there, heaven! Oi, the dickers. What's all the noise in here? I'm just talking, bro. To who? You got a secret mouse in here I don't know about. No? Relax, it was just a test dummy. Everyone knows mouse can't talk. Ricky, did you mean mice? You're trying to be a smart ass. No, I'm just saying. Oh, you think you're that chaser guy, eh? <laughs> Ask your little mouse friends. Talk to the audience. That's who wants to be a millionaire. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
check out. Do you like funny stuff? Nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it, you. You're gonna get it. <laughs> well, stuff you. Here's some funny stuff anyway. Check this out. Grandma Sia, is that you? No, I'm Beyonce. Huh? For goodness sake. Of course it's me. Who else looks like your grandmother? But you're... Dead. We buried you last week. Death is uh, subjective. It's only the beginning of uh, a journey. Huh? What does that mean? Oh, it's gonna make you fight about it, Wait, is this because of your coffin dress? Because I told Mom to put your favorite ball gown on, but she didn't listen. Now, you listen good. Your mom hates me. Just look at this stupid looking dress. I look like the traffic lights. I should have burned it long ago. Put it in the fire. Burn it? Are you in hell? Oh, my sweet Jesus. I'm not in hell. I'm not anywhere, really, which is why I'm here. I came to ask for your help. Me? They were quite definite that you were the one. Me, the one. Wait, is this like one of those Matrix things where I'm the hero of the story and I have heaps of potential and power, but I just don't realize it yet? Dream on. How? You can't be a hero of any stories. Okay, never mind. So what did you need help with? To get me to heaven. Huh? Heaven? You know, heaven, up there, heaven. Oi, the dickers. What's all the noise in here? I'm just talking, bro. To who? You got a secret mouse in here I don't know about. No? Relax, it was just a test dummy. Everyone knows mouse can't talk. Ricky, did you mean mice? You're trying to be a smart ass. No, I'm just saying. Oh, you think you're that chaser guy, eh? <laughs> Ask your little mouse friends. Talk to the audience. That's who wants to be a millionaire. That's who wants to be a millionaire. See, there you go again, disrespecting me. Tell him, if you hit me, I'm going to tell mum about your special book collection. What? I said you're disrespecting me. Tell him. Uh, if you hit me, I'll tell mum about your special book collection. What book collection? The one he stashed behind the rocking chair in the garage. One stashed behind the lazy boy in the garage? You would not have touched him, you little... Hey, what are you two doing? Oh, uh, Ricky was just telling me about his special books, his, his, his Mormon one. Shh, hurry up and get to bed. And Ricky, put some bloody clothes on. Aya, you embarrassing... Get to bed. Hurry. Oh. <clears throat> Mum. Yeah? Do you believe in ghosts? I'm not a ghost. What you ask? Oh, nothing really, just thinking about Grandma. Grandma was a special one, huh? She loved me like her own daughter. Oh, she's leading a bit to your mother. Do you think Grandma, you know, went to heaven? Knowing her, she's probably already up there in her pink dress that she really loves to wear. Lies. I hate this bloody dress. Okay, anyways, get to bed. You need to sleep for school in the morning, okay? Yeah. Come on. Mom. Yeah? If I died and I came back as a ghost, would you help me, you know, find my way to heaven? Son, if you died and come back as a ghost, I will beat you up for dying before your parents. Now get to sleep. Uh, are you still here? Of course I'm still here. I can't go anywhere. Okay, well, I've decided to help you. You sound as if you had a choice. You might be the only one that can help me get a date to the school ball. You mean I'm stuck here on Earth? Just because you can't find anyone to take to the school ball? Oh, my life, what a stupid child. Look, Grandma, I don't know what the reason is that you're here, but if you're here to help, this is how you can help me. 
I guess I don't have a choice. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we should get some sleep. We can talk more about it tomorrow. Are you gonna sit there all night? This is kind of creepy. So this is the girl. Oh. Who's this? She's coming over. Today? Oh my world, she's probably going to come and think we're the most dirtiest people in the whole of Nostilla. Too beautiful for you, loser. Shut up your mouth. That's us from City Kickboxing. Thanks for watching. And here's what's coming up next week on Fresh. I'm here to support the athletics. I'm going to feature reps for Fiji.